these loots. Can I stick the shotgun in your face? Welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die Modded. We are playing Winter Project. Let's continue from where I left off. Remember, if you have enjoyed it, consider subscribing and leaving a like. It really helps the channel. Day 8, we have defended with success uh, our first hard night. We defended, let me see, let me see, around here somewhere. I think it was over here. Very, very nice. Very different Horde Knight. Um, I don't want to spoil to you guys if you haven't watched. Go and watch. Uh, we had a special uh, guest on the Horde Knight. And it was, um, it was a different Horde Knight. Today's episode, Day 8. Uh, I will use this second week to explore a little bit more the town. We still have a lot to discover and I want to go out. I think it's over here. I want to, to check out. We have uh, scouted it before. I want to check out those mega stores. We have a couple of mega stores over there. I don't know how fast we are going to be and always Always, as a this is a small advice for you guys, um, do a nice YouTube intro, and when you start going out, remember that you that you have forgot something. It's really amazing, really, really amazing. I did forget. What's that? It's a football player. Okay, let me just ignore him. Come on. Come on. Jump. I need I need a shovel. I left my shovel, my shovel, but I forgot this is Winter Project. Never go anywhere. Never go anywhere without the, the shovel. Yep, it's, it's a... Okay, you, you are not going to wreck my house. Sorry, you are going to just get shot in the face. There you go. It's a horde. A roaming horde. It might be. We might have a roaming horde. Uh, just why not, right? We just have one big horde last night. How about waking up? Come on. Come on, old timer. Yeah. Okay, the old timer is down. The lady is down. And we have here a zombie yo white. Don't you run at me. That's. Oops. Okay. Shotgun shells. If you. Okay, let's. 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 Uh, let's. Let's rephrase uh, that sentence. If you have shotgun shells for me, you can run. Okay. So, uh, let me see. Where were we? Uh, hopefully. I don't, have that, I don't have that much food. That's why. We should be fine, right? Oh, so nice. Very nice shot. There you go. Oh, oops. We have healed this guy. Over here. So wonderful. Even the in, in the apocalypse, we uh, have healed someone. For a moment, that guy could walk. Okay, okay, okay. So I think it was... These two, perhaps. I know. I know that my stamina bar isn't full. I don't have that much food. But um, well, C 
since it was the hard night, I did not have that much time to craft more food and whatnot. And I don't want to waste too much time crafting food. So I hope I don't regret that decision. <coughs> <coughs> We are being followed by a by by a storm. I think it's a storm, or I don't know what the hell it is. This is the girls. Oh, I think that's the theater, right? Not another, another football player. Oh come on! Come on! Stop moving. I want to aim a nice sneak shot. Come on, you are going to smell me, right? Stop, smell, yes. There you go. Now you can run. And these glancing blows blow. These glancing blows blow just to save a couple of shots. Okay, so we are. Uh, it, it was a uh, shamway food and uh, working stiff tools. Okay, and of course, a bear, a polar bear, and a walking head. I don't know, I don't know even what to call it. Let's move away from the bear. Oh, it's a seal, okay. Okay. You are suffering from frostbite, of course. Of course. Yes, I am. Let's move away. Oh, are you joking? Double... Double stars? I need to find a proper name to this... To these thingies. Let me know in the comments. What... Are they? How I should call them? Let's be quick about it. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, frostbite, come on. Leave me alone, frostbite. Go away, frostbite. Okay. Okay, and let's go. We are going to run this way. Oh, so annoying. So annoying. Okay, let's move this way. Okay. But they, they will follow you. Right? Come on. This is the two buildings that I want to loot. And of course, that had to happen, right? Okay, okay. It's uh, football players um, day. Okay. I'm not going to do the same mistake twice. So there you are. Dead. Again. Okay. Uh, so it was um, a, a, a shamway and a working stiff one. Working stiff tools. Even the shamway wouldn't be a bad option. It would really set me up for the for the next days. What to do? What to do? But of course, the tools. the The sooner you get better tools, the better. Can I? Let me see if I can see where the, those uh, that bright uh, white star is. They were over here. They went away. Yeah, I want to 
try out these working stiff tools here. It's it's a mega store. Oh, yeah. Can I get a good way in and out? Just not get caught by anything nasty if I need to run away quickly. If I can do something like this. Uh, a slope. Please feel free. You know, I know that uh, I am playing a blind playthrough, but you you can you you are free. To let me know your go-to tactics to clear the snow when you want to go into a PR. I'm open to suggestions. Just always well, this one it's not that difficult. It's it's a very large POI, and you don't need to find the you don't need to find the the flag of the quest. So you are it's just to dig somewhere, and you are you are good to go. But there are also there are different POIs that do take a lot of effort okay Ooh, what's that Samara Morgan horse Samara Morgan horse a strange horse with the date carved on the bottom use the horse breaks very easily in your hands you broke the horse I don't know what happened okay but uh, okay I will check that out later so let me see if I go here here jump jump and I can go away okay that's what I want let's start checking the, the POI can get a little bit of food it would be amazing okay we have Waken up pretty much everybody. Let's start smashing some faces. Hello, cheerleader. Anyone running? Usually the worst ones are on the back room. Okay. Dead. I will move and loot. Cannot complain about water, right? Just worried about the ferals. There should be ferals roaming around for sure. Sorry. One. Stand up. Were here working stiff nice uh, motor tool parts what can we do with the motor tool parts recipes an auger and a chainsaw okay man water we are in the in the winter um, apocalypse we have snow everywhere so clearly water it's not one of our main concerns you just need some glass jars and you are fine. Okay. Oh, we can search the shelves over here. Okay. That will take some time. Let me... You, you need to die. You don't know your task. You, you only have one task. It's to die without making any noise. So you should do that. You, you are not supposed to try to stand up and do some fancy, fancy stuff like that. It's just stay on the floor, get a smash to the head, and then die. Very easy. What can we get on these shelves? 
Igar. Where? Hmm? It, it's going to be useful f at the store. Okay. But I will uh, probably loot all of these shelves at the end. Let's first clear the POI, shall we? There should be plenty of them on the back room. We are safe on this area. So, um, and of course, something nasty might appear. And a working stiff toolbox, always nice to loot. So it's really nice that we are on the working stiff because besides the tools that you can find uh, searching the shelves you might also find food so it kind of samara memories zero one use what the, what the hell is the samara stuff i am using them in probably and i do hope i am not doing something wrong i hear someone on the outside well over here pretty sure that we are going to find three or four zombies How many do you run? There's two and I don't see anyone running. Okay. Hit the lady square in the face. There you go. You and you you should stop running. And now the lady. Oops. <laughs> so nice. He was trying to jump. Poor, poor lady. Okay. These are the sounds of that room over there. We will be there, there in a moment. Let's quickly... Oh, nice. Wrench. I need to start scrapping stuff. It looks outside. Or it sounds outside. Uh, scrap. What? Uh, you can go away. You can also scrap. What do I need a wooden spoon? To scrap. Uh, I don't need the lead. Even the... C okay. Good enough. Good enough. Keep, keep, keep looting any boxes on this area. One over here. Let me keep checking the boxes. Wrench, wire tool. Ooh, where did you come from? Outside? Upstairs? Come on. One, one fat. Huge. Come on. Don't. Come on, Stamina. Don't fail me, Stamina. Don't fail me, Crossbow. So we are okay. Let's check the back room. I think in terms of uh, working stiff boxes, we are... Oh, we need one. We have one, one more over here. Man, not until now, nothing to write home for in this loot. Can I stick the shotgun in your face? <laughs> Man, I am, my aim, it's amazing, right? Don't you love my aim? Hmm? I do. Run, move, move. Okay. 
let's move. Aim. Miss. Man. What an awesome... Well, let's use the... The club. Okay, three... three um, Reconstruction workers. Four. I had a grenade. No, I might. Why not? It, it, it is just because it's quicker. I move over here. Much, much better. I am still hearing a, z a zombie somewhere. Is it upstairs? Might be, might be. Um. I was looking for stuff to scrap. Scrap you. Nice. That's the bellows. I think it's the best stuff yet. Corn. Uh, Use. What else? Working Steve, come on. Another horse. I will keep that horse just because. It might be used on something else, and I'm trying to read it. The wood. I I would complain about the wood if it was any other mod or any other um, just regular game of Seven Days to Die. But in the Winter Project, no, nope, I won't complain about finding wood on these boxes. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Getting complicated. Okay. Oh, oh. What, what's this? Oh, electric motor, it's just for scrapping. Okay, let's keep going. I heard some lady. Can scrap you. Coffee beans. Oh, why? And she's, she's so close. Let's open up the other boxes. I am really, really full. <laughs> well, the chainsaw in the winter project, it might be the most use useless tool ever. Right. Wood frames. Crap. He's trying to open the door. Where did you? Okay, let's let's say hello. Let's let's say hello. Seven days to die. Oops. You you you, you are you are lucky, my my lady. Oh. <laughs> hello. How are you? Okay. Uh, I think we are done in terms of boxes. In terms of boxes, I want to search these shelves, but um, and because we might have a DVD, uh, I think we can use this for something. I have been told that you can use uh, these DVDs for something, so we can do something like this. So, these shelves, as you can see, they give you uh, a lot of food. So, let's go. I will try. To do something like this. I don't need the wire. Oh, it's going to be a while until I have uh, any way to use the wire tool. So I will craft a secure 
chest. I will go upstairs, drop the, the chest in the snow, which I really don't like, because it feels like it can be destroyed very easily. And then do a nice time lapse, looting all, all, all of the shelves and show you the results, because it's going to be a lot of boring searching. So you can place the, the chest over here, drop everything that I did not brought with me like this. The pickaxe is mine. I usually like to, to keep on me the stuff uh, that um, I brought originally just because if I need to run away like screaming like a little child at least I will know that I did not leave anything amazing. Okay, so we have here a drop chest and now I will go downstairs and do whatever runs I need to do to loot everything and show you the results. Okay, another uh, needed drop uh, because I have my inventory full and you, you can use this time to check what I have been finding, even schematics, stun button, uh, electric fence post, all of this, I think a big part of this, it's from the, um, f from the shelves, I haven't been looting anything else but the shelves, so that's really really amazing. You can find pretty much everything. I'm going to also create a second one because we are far away from finishing and I want to keep looting. What I want to do also is go here. I have a little bit of money and I am running a little bit low on wood. And I'm going to go to the vending machine, which is over there, and buy some um, chicken soup. And now I can I can have pasta. Yes, I can. That both of these will be amazing. Look at this. Mm, yum, 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 yum. And I will eat the other one. And I think I am I am on this uh, 
uh, aisle. Church, nice. And I still have half of the store to go. Okay, finally we are done. It took forever. It's 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Uh, to, to, to loot all of those uh, boxes or that uh, shelves. And this is the result. I have my inventory full with a lot of stuff that I can scrap, of course. But I also have here the magazine extender mod schematic. And I also have here the Samara postcard tree, which I don't know what it is. I also have here the Samara memory 02. A ratty old white dress, which I also don't don't don't, don't know what it is. Again, the horse, a strange horse with a date carved, Kentucky Derby champion. I don't know if this is used for something or not. I will keep them. I won't use them anymore. I will keep them back at my base. But look at the loot. We also even found a rocket frag, uh, exploding arrows, a lot of ammunition, um, food. Uh, frozen can of tuna peas and i also have two fulls no two full no one full uh, secure storage chest with more uh, frozen can of miso more food over here engines a lot of cigars and also over here more cigars and more food amazing amazing loot being able to loot the shelves it's really amazing and it really makes these pois top notch to loot of course that means that this guy over here should be high on our priority priority list but for this episode my friends this is it i cannot see any more shelves in my face because if i do see them i'm going to pick up a, a hammer and i'm going to smash them so this this episode is going to be it i do hope you are enjoying winter project 2019 i am uh, and i hope to see you all in the next episode until then thank you